what exactly is added to cheese to make it the most processed food on the planet? What's the process? Let's also touch on pus, manure, and all that that comes loaded in dairy products. We are going to cheer everybody up, aren't we? Yes. So, <laughs> you, know, you know, it's funny. I got to tell you, when, when people come into our research center, and they, they'll go vegan mm -hmm. because we ask them to, because um, we're trying to tackle their diabetes, and they, go, they do great. Mm -hmm. But the one thing I hear them say is, I just miss cheese so much. Mm -hmm. And if you look at what's in it, it's, it is surprising, just as you were saying. First of all, coming out of the cow, it's got lots of problems. It's one of the biggest sources of saturated fat. That's the bad fat. And then when you turn cheese, uh, when you turn milk into cheese, they add a huge amount of salt to it. They, they, the, the reason they're adding salt is because, they, because they've added bacteria that are fermenting it, and mm -hmm. you don't want them to go too far. Well, what are those bacteria? Well, if I'm making, say, a Munster cheese, what they add is called brevi bacteria. It's the same the same genus of bacteria that are between your toes. That's right. If your creepy roommate forgot to do the laundry for an extra long period of time, the, the smell you are smelling, that smells kind of like Munster cheese, it's, it, yes, it's brevid bacteria. Um, and then they will add rennet to it, which is, comes out of the fourth stomach of a slaughtered calf. It's an enzyme to curdle it together. Um, if they don't use that... So they actually take it from a dead baby calf. cow. Right. From his dead stomach. Fourth stomach, exactly. That's so sad and gross. Okay. It's so well, it gets worse. But now, some dairies don't use that anymore, and they use a different rennet, which happens to be genetically engineered. But they don't usually write that on the cheese, because they know nobody wants to buy genetically engineered cheese. Um, so that's, that's kind of for starters. Um, it's, I think, hands down, just about the most unhealthy food that people eat, despite the fact that people get hooked on it. Mm -hmm. And then, so, the pus and the manure, that's also in well, it, too. Well, it's because it came out of a, an animal, and the animal was artificially inseminated, and she, um, they are, dairy cows have been bred to produce a lot of milk, and some of them are given hormones, growth hormones, mm -hmm. to cause even more milk production. Their udders get distended, and they get a condition called mastitis, it's an inflammation. And so you'll see more and more and more pus, and the dairy farmers all know that the pus is in there. Mm -hmm. They just try to keep it under a certain level, but it's in every, every carton of milk you ever got. The manure, oh, it's amazing. You should go to a dairy. They will take, literally, a flamethrower, and they will, they will zap it under the, the udder to burn off the little hairs and to kind of sterilize whatever manure is on there. Then they put the milking things up. And there's, there's a certain amount of manure and pus in every glass of milk. Isn't that lovely? It's, I mean, it's the truth, though, and I believe that everybody should, should know how bad it is for them and also how bad it is for the cows. It's, it's true. I have to say, though, it's, cow's milk is not entirely unique because if you went into the store and looked at the chicken carcasses that they're selling, many of them have salmonella and other things that come from chicken manure. That's, you know, that, that's not going to happen, obviously, if you're consuming plant products. Exactly. But it's a big problem exactly. with animal agriculture.